a good fishaholic. So if you didn't get the hint by now, I'm doing gonna be doing some fly fishing today. I'm just waiting on my buddy Mike, and uh, then we're gonna jump in the truck and hit Napeeg, and we're gonna drive down the beach and uh, fish this peninsula area that has really good light tackle uh, striper action, especially in the early season. If you guys didn't know, this season I'm gonna try and catch one of the biggest bass I've ever caught on the fly rod. I'm, you know, I'm searching for, or I'm hoping for an 18, 20 pound bass on the fly. And hopefully I can get it, you know, hopefully I can make that happen. Looks like uh, Mike is coming right now. So it's windy over here, guys. Probably blowing like 15, 18 miles an hour out of the south, southeast. But over on the bay side, looks like the promised land. Today I also have my stripping basket, which uh, I think in my last fly fishing video when I was going for bluefish, I didn't, I didn't have it. I probably should have had it, but you know, I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll go without it. And I think my line, my line got pretty chewed up in the rocks, so I'm, you know, I can't do that ever again. This looks good over here. There he is, fish on. Fish on. Oh yeah. Five minutes of fishing. Got a little bit of current here going from the right to the left. And I took like a little, you know, cast over there about 20 yards. I'm just working this. Oh, 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 we got a little bigger. I'm just working this bait or this fly. This guy crushed it. I don't know what it is, but Jesus, it's pulling good now. Whoa, whoa, he's swimming around my legs. Well, he picked up a new hat. Woo! Nice little bass on the fly. All right, so I definitely have a long way to go if I want to catch a 20 pounder on the fly before the end of the season. And uh, to be honest, that was only the second striper that I've caught so far this season out in Montauk. And I caught that little guy on a small little epoxy minnow. So I'm gonna keep fishing this point here with this little bit of current, hopefully connect with something a little bigger. What was that way out there? Is that a fish? Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's fish popping on top right there. I could probably hit that if they come a little closer. We got fish on top, guys. Things are looking good. Oh, look at this. I got a sea robin right here. I literally have a sea robin right at my feet. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, there he is. Sea robin have like a really sandpapery head. So if you grab them by the head with your two fingers, you can get a good grip on them. Oh, there he is, fish on. This guy hit it hard. Another little guy. Okay, nice little guy. All right, I think it's time for a fly change. Sorry for the wind noise, uh, my microphone is broken. But this is the first fly that I tied on, and it's completely mangled, which now I'm gonna have to decide or you know use something else and see if I can catch fish on something else. And uh, I have this little fly here. I don't know the exact name of it, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. If you guys know the name of this fly, post it in the comment section. And I mean, it looks good. It looks like a little bait fish. You know, I'm sure if I pull it by the right striper, he's gonna whack it. Oh, fish on. Oh, giant sea robin. Oh, there's another one following him. Look at this right here. Look at this, giant sea robin. There's another one right there. 
he's you know he's a couple ounces over three pounds so that's a toad that's a toad of a sea robin So hopefully the next one is a bass. That's what we're really after. Or at least maybe a fluke or something. I'll take a fluke. The sea robins are kind of just a pain. But I mean, it was kind of fun just to catch a three pounder like that. Oh, there's one. That's a, whoa, whoa okay. I think this is a bass here. This fish wanted it. Oh. That fish really smashed it. So that three pound sea robin was a warm up to this fish. I had to get the sea robin out of the way to get this one. This fly was barely even the water and this guy smashed it. I think this guy's a little bigger too. Looks like he has a follower. A lot of these fish roam around these flats in packs, so there's usually gonna be something following them. He's spitting the striper spitting up sand eels too, so a lot of times what he spits up, the you know the followers pick up. Perfect little striper right there. Take that any day. A lot of times you gotta revive them nice and easy after you catch them on the fly too. Wait for that dorsal fin to pop up. There he goes. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, how about I just give you my keys and I stay here now? So instead of me walking back and then my car will be at your house and then I just drive your truck back to, well, doesn't that make more sense? If you want to wait it out, you're just going to fish. Yeah, I'll fish. I mean, why not? You're fish that many hours. Yeah. I could see another two hours it would be down and I, that'd be like right before dark. That's... All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh man, all right, Fishaholics, I feel like an idiot because uh, I didn't think about the, the surge that the 18 to 20 mile an hour wind would create right now. And uh, therefore, you know, I also thought Mike had more time to fish, but he didn't. We were, we were walking back to my truck because his truck is stranded. You know, there's just a ton of salt water surrounding us and the tide is actually going out now. Like, you know, maybe like 20, 30, 40 minutes ago, it was a lot higher. It was actually all the way up to the truck. And, um, you know, we both figured like, okay, we might as well walk back to my truck and then, you know, I'll drive Mike to where he's got to be. And then I'll come back and, you know, walk the two miles all the way back to his truck and then drive his truck back. But then like a mile into our walk, I was like, you know what, Mike, here's my keys. So he took my truck and then I came back to his truck and, uh, I'm just going to wait it out and probably, you know, right before dark or so, you know, the tide will be plenty far enough out that I should be able to drive his truck out of here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go do some more fly fishing, but uh, we gotta wait until the tide goes from that point right there to probably right there. So then we'll probably be, you know, be plenty good enough to get out of here. So in the meantime, let's go catch some stripers. Switched back to a small little epoxy minnow. The only one I had on me. Doesn't have a barb on it though, so that's gonna be a problem if I catch something really big and he throws the hook. I just saw a fish break water down over here, so I'm making a move. There might be some bait pushed up against, uh, you know, against the beach. Oh, there's bass going crazy. Oh, look at that. They're feeding now. Nice little feeding frenzy before dark.
There he is. Got him. Oh, that guy hit it like crazy. I finally got one. Oh, he got off right there. Got to get out a lot of line. Even though these fish are right in front of me, I want to get way out there and then kind of work this fly through them. There he is again. Oh yeah, they're crushing it now. These are the kind of fly bites you live for right here. Nice little fella. There he goes. All right, let's see if I can get a couple more, maybe even a bigger one before it gets too dark. Some of these fish that are breaking water, you know, are at least close to 28 inches. Oh yeah, that guy crushed it. Wow, this little guy pulled hard for his size. Little chubby bass. They're not large, but what they lack in size, they make up for in spunk, for sure. See you later, little buddy. All right, Fishaholics, I'm back at the truck. I'm gonna make a run at it. The tide looks a lot lower than what it was, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't catch anything large today, but you know, baby steps, right? I'm, you know, I'm building up to that 20 pounder on the fly, but uh, you know, any size fish really on the fly is really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you got any questions, post it in the comment section, and uh, you know, or look in the description for tackling equipment. But never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys on the water next time.